hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome <laughs> if you are new here you're welcome if you are returning subscriber you are also welcome my name is Bide J. today's video is very special because my mom is here with us i'm so hi. excited <laughs> hi guys <laughs> i'm pregnant at the moment so she's here to do omugua to take care of the baby you know so i'm so excited that we are getting to do this video together i'm so delighted <laughs> she's so delighted to be here <laughs> so anyway this is my first dad child yeah you know what you know what that is so i'm <laughs> very much excited in welcoming her yeah she's very much no, I'm not, I, i've only told you the gender <laughs> by now they know the gender <laughs> So as you can see, mommy has been taking care of me. You see, I'm looking fresher now. This video, we are actually showing you what I have in my hospital bag. Because when I was trying to pack my hospital bag, I didn't know what exactly to pack. I had to tell a friend of mine to send me a list and all that. So we'll be showing you what is in my hospital bag. I'm 39 weeks and 5 days pregnant today. So we are just doing the waiting game for baby to come. And it seems like she doesn't want to be here at the moment. I can't wait to receive her. <laughs> In fact, the anxiety is just too much for me. <laughs> but Fingers first time crossed, is the best. Yes, maybe we'll come when baby's ready. Mm -hmm. We'll be showing you what we have for mommy and what we have for baby and some miscellaneous that we're we'll talking about in this video. Are you ready? show you what we have for mommy so for mommy there are some essential things that you don't have to forget and there's nothing like normal labor i see some people say is it normal labor or there is there abnormal labor as far as oh, abnormal delivery sorry they say abno is it normal delivery or abnormal delivery <laughs> cs or vaginal delivery they are all normal deliveries so anyways uh for mommy we packed this uh it's called lady pants they are different brands okay so i ordered it on amazon all the things i'll be listing some of them i'll leave the link in the description box so if you're pregnant and you're trying to buy you can actually buy these ones they are very good this was um recommended to me by my friend Jeanette. She so uh this is the lady pants it's like a brief it's like a pad and a pant together so i got a, a like a box and there's six of them in it so i'm taking just one to the hospital so it's quite a lot it's like maternity pant is to absorb any drainage uh, or discharges after delivery so this is very very important you have to take a maternity pant with you after her delivery she needs you know though in the hospital i heard that they do give them a gown. gown yeah but at least after the delivery of the baby she has to put it off and wear a normal gown. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is one of pajamas. The... It's top and trousers mm. actually. This one is a gown. They're just flowing, flowing like a flowing, flowing gown. gown. But these um, ones are pajamas um, because I am the type that this is my style. I love to wear gowns. But because of breastfeeding, I can't wear gowns a lot because mm -hmm. you have to wear a, like a pajamas, a pajama trousers, yeah, down and a shirt or uh, <laughs> top that you can pull up. Yes. So that's why it's easier. I have to order this from Shein. <laughs> so I ordered about five pairs of uh, whatever, what's it called, pajamas. Of course, I can't be showing you my pint in the screen on the screen, but you have to go with about six panties because you need something. You know to hold your pad in place and all of that so i'm going with about four panties you can go with six you know for mommy depends yeah depending on what you think but four to six pants is good yeah next moving forward i also got this uh, maternity bra it's about three in one yeah three in one maternity bra I actually bought this online i'll leave the link in the description box for people that might be interested so it's a maternity bra it's very good for whoever just put to bed and why it is called a maternity bra is because it has some buckles here that you can unhook yes. so instead of offing it uh, or pulling it here yeah, or pulling it from, from the down. below yeah so you can just unhook it to and breastfeed ready to baby yes breastfeed. ready to breastfeed so it's very good it's very essential you can take it to, with you to the hospital all right i got three of them yeah, I hope I won't. Um, when I return, I will maybe buy more. But for now, I have three pairs 
of that and i got it online um for money also because when you're breastfeeding if you get to a point that maybe your supply is very mm. much you have excess yeah milk coming out excess uh yeah secret milk secretion mm. so instead of that staining your bra or your, your bra i bought this nursing pad it's called breast pad breast or uh, nursing breast pad or something like that it was my friend janet shout out to you janet actually she really helped me to compile my hospital bags together she was really there for me <laughs> So anyways, uh, this uh, they are called bamboo. They are different brands. So this one is quite good. It's even big. But put that bigger breast. So you put one one here. And they're, the most amazing thing about them is that they are washable and reusable. And they absorb so yes. much. They absorb so much. They are very thick. And they absorb. And it even comes with a bag. This netty bag at the back. So when they are dirty, I put them inside. I just throw them in the washing machine. In yeah, our own days of having babies or having you then. We are using cutting wool to, you know, yeah. instead of this, this. but so for civilization and technology. And technology. And technology. Yeah. <laughs> so now, we are not in the holding this hair yeah, so. anymore. <laughs> anyway, so this is that, the breast pad, really good. But lastly, for mommy, I will just be going with more miscellaneous, like skincare products, like my wipes, my toothbrush, you know, my lip gloss. I love my lip. I don't like when my lips are dried or cracked. So, um, I will go with my lip balm, some skincare products, my face, I don't, you know, I'll have a shower in the, in the hospital, with my charger, my laptop or something, because sometimes you get boring, especially when maybe you were induced, you've done your induction, you are waiting for baby to come, it gets boring, you might want to watch a movie, so sometimes you can go with your laptop and all of that, you know. If I hope you have that charisma to watch video while in labor. <laughs> I press so. I press so. Anyways, it's good to just go with something well, to keep you company exactly. in case in case you need it. Mm. So I think that's it. I'm really praying. I don't want to spend too much day, maximum a day or two in the hospital. I want to be back home that's by it. God's grace. Fingers crossed. So now let's go to baby. This is my most exciting part of the video. <laughs> we'll talk about the wash clothes. When baby comes, we might need some wash clothes to just clean baby's body. I actually bought olive oil. Uh, from a store here uh, in case they need to clean baby's body because when baby comes out you know the skin will be sticky and a bit moistened so we might need olive oil to clean baby's body as per midwife's instruction so next for the pampas I did a baby shower actually so I got a couple of pampas clothing and people were so amazing my baby is so blessed we have rich aunties and uncles that gave us gifts and then i didn't get newborn it was lately that somebody got me newborn pampas but i got i went to the shop and i got newborn pampas so i got this is about 10 pieces so hopefully we won't finish this before we get home hopefully baby won't stay so long in hospital God's by god's grace so these are 10 pieces of pampas you actually need this for baby we went, we are going with some clothing. So, this is my most favorite part of the video. When baby is born, I want baby to wear this particular um, cloth. When discharge. Okay. When going home, rather. So, this is born in 2024. <laughs> this is the bib, the top. It's a complete set. It has some shorts. Cap. To cap. Um, yeah, it has yeah. a cap at the back. And glove. Mittens. We okay. call them mittens. Okay. Not and <laughs> we are going with uh, this three sleep suits okay so when you go shop for baby they normally write newborn zero to three months three to six months six to nine months so i got some new because most of the things i got for my baby shower they were mainly um three to six months so i had to go out and buy newborn and three and zero to three months so this is newborn so this will be in the early days of baby it's quite small so three sleep suits and this one to go home with. Then Daddy, and she'll be wrapped here. Yeah. Mm. A bit? Yeah. With this shawl. Okay. That's it. We are going with this heart and mittens. We have socks there, extra socks. We just pack it. Your, this even mommy socks. Yeah, so this is socks for mommy. So it's, it's good to hold to your stockings too for the mom in case you are cold or something. Mm. Because sometimes you tend to have hypothermia when you put to bed. Your temperature drops. You can mm. even, some people even have fever and all the like so it's good to go with your socks so for baby we're going with this beautiful heart very pretty 
when I had you, I even have such condition. After your delivery, after some minutes, I felt hot. And now on the fan. fan. After a minute, I started shivering. So, <laughs> so hypothermia <laughs> happens often. It's not okay. Unusual. That's what it's called hypothermia. Tamia it means temperature. Tamia. Okay. So hypothermia low temperature. Uh -huh. Hypothermia high temperature. So I was shaking and this nurse started running a task at her to look for blankets, you know, to cover me up. Yeah. So it's good <laughs> to go with your socks and that. By the time we combine everything, Sha, <laughs> we will reach house again. <laughs> so when we give birth to baby, we're gonna wrap baby up. We are going with about then, two. Yeah, two, two blank, um, two wrapping, whatever, mm -hmm. to wrap baby up. So that's that. Very warm and soft. I got this white container from Temu. So it's good. Some of these things they are on Temu. Some of these baby essentials actually. So for this one, I bought it because you can just press it like this. It opens and you can pick out the wipe. So the wipe is inside. I put it from the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So we need wipes to clean baby's bod and all the likes. Moving forward, I got these props online from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box. This says hello world. <laughs> you know I'm very extra. I'm a very extra mommy. So <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> hello, I'm new here. I'm very dramatic. <laughs> So anyways, all these are just props for baby's pictures. You know, if you love pictures, you can even customize and put baby's name on it. It depends on how extra you are. If you're like me, okay. So moving forward, for baby also or for mommy, I got this nipple cream. It's called HPA Lanolin. Uh, the brand name is Lansino. I'll put it in the description box also. It's a nipple cream for when you're breastfeeding baby, for if your nipple is hurting or if your nipple is cracked or something. Oh, um, yeah. It helps to. Oh, that's sore. Yeah, if it's sore, painful. They say it helps to suit and protect sore, cracked nipples and dry skin. No need to remove before breastfeeding. Meaning you can put it there and baby will breastfeed on it. Exactly. It's not harmful to baby. This one. So because people will be coming to visit you, maybe a few people in the hospital, depends. This one is like, I'll put what it looks like on your screen. As you can see, it's just to tie around your neck. And so people don't look see your breasts <laughs> when you are breastfeeding babies. I also ordered this uh, dummy. You put in baby's mouth to suck. And you can attach this. I bought them separately on Amazon. They they, were, they sold this the rope separately, and I bought the dummies separately. So you can pin this to baby's clothes, and then put this in baby's mouth. And just pacifier for, for her to Yeah, it's called a pacifier. Yeah. If the mother is not ready to feed the to breastfeed her, yeah, just for her to hold on to it and then yes. calm. Yeah, it's to pacify baby. Because you never can tell what your breast supply is gonna be after putting to bed. Some people don't lactate off, um, immediately. immediately, why some people are rich in supply. So I had to go with this after meal. Uh, they said it's one of the best, ready to feed from birth, first infant milk. This is what it looks like. It has six of them in it. I bought them for about seven pounds. It's in liquid form, not in powder form. It's, li it's already made. It's already so made. in case I don't lactate quickly and I don't want to starve baby, I see people say hey, they don't want to give baby formula. So what will you do if you're not lactating and baby is hungry? You can't starve your baby. You have to yeah. do something. I don't mind. For me personally, I'm open to ensure baby is okay. I, I'm not the mother that will say, oh, baby cannot take formula. If the, at, the, at birth, if baby is hungry, we have to give baby something. So it's good to be prepared. So that's why I bought this one. And it's just for prophylaxis. <laughs> In case I don't, I might not even end up using it. If my supply is good it's just good to be prepared ahead of time so they don't ask you are you two you should have known that you should have bought i hate when people tell me you should have known mm. you should have known like one of my lectures something, something that you should have prepared for <laughs> yeah exactly so because of that i learned that some of my friends their babies are like three months and above they are, they don't take bottles from their mothers and that's because they said they didn't introduce bottles to their babies earlier early me from bed as they are bringing that baby out i'm choking bottle in the baby's mouth <laughs> <laughs> so you must be able so the only thing you can do to they call something nipple confusion so you don't the baby don't confuse the nipple to the bottle so they don't it doesn't call confusion you can buy nipple shield 
So that nipple shield, it, the mouth is just like the bottle's mouth. So you put it on your nipple for baby to latch on it, baby breast. So baby won't be able to tell when they are breastfeeding from the breast <laughs> and from the bottle. That's what I'm doing. So anyways, I also got a breast extractor. Like I've ordered the electric one. Maybe when it comes, I'll show you guys too. So it's good to go because sometimes NHS, I've seen it before because I've done some shifts on... Um, pediatrics ward and I nursed an eight days old baby that was like a month ago and I saw that the NAD hospital provided extractor electric extractor for the mother so you can be lucky to get but it's good to go with your own so by the time you are extracting from the from the breast you are putting it in the bottle you are giving baby so I'm just learning I don't know everything but from what I've learned it's good to introduce baby to bottle enough so we are going to the hospital with the bottle so this bottle was given to me during my baby shower it's called tommy tp it's natural latch and anti-colic because some baby have colic so i think that's all we have guys um if there is any other thing some of some of the other essentials you need uh, like car seat we are going with our car seat i'll show you the one i have i'll put a picture on your screen as you can see with a pram because the hospital will likely not allow you to carry the baby out or put the baby in the car going home after discharge without a car seat because how will you carry a baby in the car without a car seat so you need a car seat i've gotten all of that i've gotten the baby cot everything is in shape i've gotten a bowl a uh, bathing bowl <laughs> for baby a rocker i've What's gotten the rocker? rocker i've set up baby nursery the clothes the skincare products well, and uh, I think you need to show all of that later. Yeah, I've done a video actually okay. on when I arranged the nursery, okay. the baby's nursery. So, but with time, we'll be introducing you guys to our little space on how baby is growing and all of that, and you know what we are doing for baby. So we hope you stay tuned to this channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, your midday is about to dive into a bit of motherhood content and i hope you're ready for that and i hope you'll be excited to see mommy's face yes, so. more on this channel yes so, <laughs> yes, so. so you'll see mommy's face more and i hope we'll have a beautiful journey pray for your girl i can't wait for baby to come right now i'm just doing my waiting game i'm on, i'm getting tired but i'm trying not to complain mm -hmm. so i'm 39 weeks and five days pregnant today filming this video yes. pray for your girl I'll see you guys in my next video for now. I bring your girl in the chat to the ITV. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.